This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, well as you can see I'm not in right now, I'm uh, traveling in the US, but I didn't want to leave you guys without new videos, so I pre-recorded a few in the Assets series and this is one of them, okay? So uh, hopefully you enjoy the video and I'll be back soon with more, okay? Bye! Okay guys, well in this video, as part of the asset library videos, we're going to do a cardboard box, okay? Now the modeling bit is not that difficult, obviously, but we're going to do the UV and full texturing as well, okay? So let's start with our uh, box. We're going to take a polygon cube. We're going to hit R to scale it up a little bit, and then we'll take this control and stretch it out until we roughly have the, you know, the outlines of what normally would be a box, okay? Now, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that these edges are a bit softer. So we're going to right click the edge. We're going to drag select all of them. And we're going to go up to uh, Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. And then we're going to tweak that fraction. Let's do, let's try 0.1. Let's see how that looks. That's a bit too much. Let's do 0 0.05. That's probably still too much. We can drag if you like. So it's a bit hard to do it that way. Let's do 0 0.02. Yeah, that's better. And then we'll do uh, segments. We'll do two just to break that line a bit. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, it's time to UV our box. So we're going to go up to uh, UV and I'm going to go down to automatic projection, which should work fine for this uh, type of deal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into UV and into my UV editor, like so. Okay, now we're going to be doing uh, a lot of texturing on this guy. So just to have it convenient for ourselves, we want to have certain things in certain places. So I want to have my top, the top of my box in the middle. So I'm just going to right click and go to face and hover over it. And I can see that that's the one in the center right there. Okay. So I'm going to right click at a shell, take that, hit W and move that over here. All right. So let's uh, look at this one here. I want that one on the right. That seems to be that one. So it's fine. Right click shell. I'll move that over here and then the rest will take from there. Okay. So these two need to be connected. So I'm going to right click at an edge and I'm going to drag select this edge right there. And it should correspond with, so let's see which one. Well, just to find that out. It's kind of important to know. Okay, so you can see that this edge right there is corresponding with the outer edge right there. Okay, so I'm going to select that one and I'm going to go to move and so. So these two are now connected as you can see. And we're still in the situation where this actually you can see that they're flipped around. So I need to flip that around as well. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to rotate. Right click face. Okay, that one's there. That one's there. Fine. Now I can right click at edge again and we're going to start to get the wrist in line. So take that one. Let's go to move and so. We'll take that one. Hit G to repeat last command. We'll hit that one. Make sure we've got the right one here. Hang on. Yeah, that one. G to repeat last command. And let's see, this guy goes down there. So select that one and a G for last command. Okay. We're going to go to shell and we're going to move that into place. And what we can do now is just go into polygons and we're going to select unfold. Right. It's slightly tilted. So let's. Um, Hit E to rotate that a little bit. Or actually, let's go Control Z to go back. We'll hit W, we'll move it in. And what we'll do is we'll just hit R and we'll scale it in ourselves. Okay, hit W to move that down. R to slightly scale that back in. Let's see if this is the right way. So is this still on the right? Yeah, it is, okay. So the one in the center is the top of my box. That is the right side. That one is the front and so forth, okay? So I'm happy with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to polygons. We're gonna go to UV snapshot. 
I'm going to select the location where I want to save that out. I'm going to do that on my desktop and I created uh, this folder here. So I'm going to do that there and I'm going to call this uh, box UV snapshot. All right, cool. Save. I want 2048 to be the size of my uh, image. Okay. And I want it to be saved as a JPEG. So we're going to hit OK and we're going to save that up. Okay. So now we're going to jump into Photoshop and we're going to start with our texture. Here we go. Right. So we're in uh, Photoshop and here is my snapshot. I just went to File and Open. And this is white on black and I prefer it to be the other way around. So I'm going to hit Control I to invert that. Hang on. We're just going to unlock it first. You can see it's unlocked. We're going to right click and convert to smart image first. We're going to make sure it's selected and then we're going to hit control I, which will invert that selection. And obviously we're not going to be working on this uh, layer here because we don't want these lines in our model. Right. And we're going to work in a non-destructive workflow. So anything we do, we want to do in a way that we can change back. Okay. So I'm going to start off by creating a new layer and we're going to leave this one alone. Right. Now, in my new layer, I want to start with uh, the basics, which is my cardboard texture. OK, so I'm going to go to uh, file and place embedded. And here is my cardboard. You can see it's not large enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and left click and drag. Until I cover my entire image in this case. Like that. Happy with that. So I'm going to hit enter. OK. Now you want to see your uh, UV. OK, so I'm going to push this down and then I'm going to take my layer with my UV snapshot and I'm going to bring the opacity down. And that way we can see perfectly where what is at. OK, so we got that. And next one up is we want to tape the box on the top and potentially on the bottom. But I assume the box is going to be sitting somewhere. So we're going to do this on the top only for now. And again, we'll uh, create a new layer. There we go. We'll just double click on that and we'll call it type. So we know what we're working on. Make sure you have it selected and go to file, place embedded. And I'm going to use this texture for my type. And what we're going to do is we're going to push that into a shape that resembles a line of, yeah, go away, a line of tape. And this is basically where it should be located. OK, we know from our model in Maya that this is the top of our box. So we want the tape to run over the top and then dip over the sides at both ends. OK, so we're going to hit enter. I'm OK with that position for now. So that's good. So now we can go in and look at some labels. So again, we're going to take a new layer and we're going to go to place embedded. Let's see what we'll use. We'll use the handle with care, which is a PNG. And I'll make sure that all these files are available to you guys. OK, so we need to uh, flip this around like this. And I want it to be exactly 90 degrees. In this case, minus 90 up here. OK, we're going to move that into position. I'm going to shift and left click and drag to make it nice and small. And then we're going to push it into this corner right here. Like so. If you can't see it right, we're just going to hit place and then we'll take our uh, little zoom here and you can see it better. OK, now I want a similar one to be at the other end. First of all, uh, OK, it's already named handle with care because that's what my uh, image was called. So I want to duplicate that layer. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go up to duplicate layer, handle with care, copy. That's fine. And with that one selected, I'm going to hold down the, uh, the selection key here. We'll hit control T. So we're in uh, transform mode. Now I can drag it. I'm going to hold my space bar so I can left click and move over. I'm going to put this one in this corner right here. And I want to flip that around. So I'm going to go around like so and make sure in this case that I'm at 90 degrees. So I know for sure that they're now the same sizes. I'm going to go to select and actually let's hit enter to place first. Yeah, 
I'm gonna take my zoom, hold down the Alt key, and click out. So I got labels at both sides. I can decide to move this one in a bit. Looks like it needs to be, oops, that's the wrong one. Always need to be careful with that. That's my copy. Okay, that one is snapped pretty close to the corner. Come on. So let's, why is that happening? That's interesting, very interesting. Okay, we'll just get to the bottom of this. This is the one that I want. Hit Control T to select it and bring it up a bit. Okay, fine. Now I'm gonna go to select and oh, hit enter first. All right. Okay, so we're gonna zoom out a bit. Hold Alt key again. I'm happy with these, fine. Let's bring in the next one. We're gonna go in to, uh, let's create a new layer first. Yeah, like I said, non-destructive. We're gonna go to file and uh, place embedded once again. And let's use the uh, barcode, okay? Quite large, so uh, left click, hold shift and drag. And let's say I want my barcode to be up here somewhere. And then we're gonna flip it like this. Okay, so let's make sure we're at minus 90. Then we're gonna left click and drag again to make it a bit smaller. And I want it to be sitting on the edge of these two maybe somewhere like so. And again, we can zoom in, hit place. So it'll be somewhere like there, okay, cool. All right, so now that we have that, and it's called barcode, that's fine. We're gonna go to, oh, hang on, new layer. We're gonna go to file, place embedded, and we're gonna use the this side up sticker. And we're gonna zoom out again, so hit place zoom out by holding alt let's decide where we want that to be placed we're gonna hit our select key hit Control t so it's selected bring it in somewhere down here and shift it left click and drag to make it smaller and let's do let's say this okay and that's why it's so important that you understand the orientation of your UV snapshot. So you know this is the top, this is the right side, that's the front, and you know how it should be facing, okay? So now that we have all that, it's time to uh, smudge up our box a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer. Once again, we'll double click on that. Come on. There we go. And I'll just call it, um, I don't know, let's call it smudge, all right? Make sure you're on that layer. We're gonna take a brush right there. We're gonna go up, we're gonna make sure it's a soft brush and let's look at the size. This is about right, okay, good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a black color. We're gonna start somewhere around here. We're gonna click, we're gonna hold down our shift key and we're gonna move over here and we're gonna hit click again, just like that, okay? So click here once, click again, all right? Click here once, click again, click here once, click again. We're gonna do one here. And basically we want every edge of our box hit at some point. And there we go. Looks like we have all of them. And then we're gonna go into the uh, blend mode. And instead of normal, we're gonna go to overlay like this. And then you can decide to tweak the opacity if you like. You can bring that down if you want or not, okay? So now to get a good understanding of what this looks like, what you need to do is you need to turn off your UV layer. This is a much better representation of what it will look like when it's done, okay? Because that's obviously not something we're gonna use. Now, let's look at our tape for a sec. Our tape is a bit too uh, bright, okay? So we've got the tape layer selected. We're gonna go to Image, Adjustments, 
uh, where is it? Hue and saturation. And let's bring down that lightness. You can bring it way down, as you can see, somewhere like so. I'm happy with that. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this layer, turn it off. We're going to select these other layers. We're going to control shift and click to select all of them. Right click, go to merge layers. And then uh, let's see, we should not do that in that mode. Hang on. Actually, we shouldn't do that at all. Control Alt Z to go back. We're just going to take our UV layer and get rid of that. This guy. There we go. And we're just going to save it out. Okay. So file save as we're going to save it as a uh, JPEG and we'll save it in that area right there. We'll call it box texture final. There we go. We're going to save that out and save it out. Time to jump into Maya. Here we go. Hey guys, we're back in Maya. We're going to minimize this guy. We're going to right click on our box here. We're going to go to assign new material. We're going to select the Lambert. In our attribute editor, we're going to go in we're going to hit the checkered box. We're going to select the file, go to the folder down here, and we're going to look for our uh, box folder. Where is he at? Should be here somewhere. Yeah, right there. And here is our box texture. Okay, let's open that up. You can't see it as yet. So we're going to go to this little ball right there and we're going to hit that checkered ball, right? And as we do that, you can see we got the this side up sticker. We got the handle with care. We got our burr code. We got the smudge edges, your tape, and so forth. Okay. So that's all there's to it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, as always. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye.